Hello there, Tiger, and welcome to my library. Today I'm launching something called Shelfography, which is the way in which you organize your bookshelf. Some people choose to do it alphabetically, some people choose to color coordinate their books, and some people choose to get very technical and use the Dewey Decimal System. But as for me, I organize by author personality. And what I mean by that is I think about would this author like to be next to that author? Would there be good conversation? Would it be, would it be interesting? Would it be shocking? So let me show you what I mean by this. Okay, so we're going to start over here with Noel Coward next to Oscar Wilde, next to Saki, next to mad, bad, and dangerous to know Lord Byron. Now, all these guys, witty, funny, clever, smart. I mean, I think this would be one stellar conversation. So, perfection. We come over here, and Truman Capote is adjacent to this conversation. So he can chime in a little bit if he wants to. I think he would enjoy that. But then I thought, I would like a little bit of drama. So I put Dominic Dunn next to Truman Capote. Now the drama here is that Dominic Dunn claimed that he threw the very first black and white party out in California. This was years before Truman Capote threw his in 1966 at the Plaza Hotel. But the thing was that Truman Capote did not invite Dominic Dunn to his black and white ball, which was the who's who of the glitterati. Dominic was furious. So those two have some bad blood. Might be interesting to see what happens there. Then I put F. Scott Fitzgerald next to Maxwell Perkins, who was his editor, and I think those two would have some good conversation. I might learn something from that conversation. Then I put this Literary Feuds book here to remind me that I cannot put my first edition Valley of the Dolls, Jacqueline Suzanne, I cannot put that close to Truman Capote because those two used to trade pot shots on the Johnny Carson show. I mean, it got ugly. So I've got to keep those two separated. But I do like keeping Jacqueline Suzanne next to the glorious Jackie Collins because I don't think, I mean, of course, Jackie would still be successful, but I believe that Jacqueline Suzanne sort of paved the way for Jackie Collins style work and I love her work. So glad that happened. And um, I put The Godfather next to Jackie Collins because I've met her. She's wonderful. And uh, she says she reads The Godfather every year for her inspiration. So easy access for her. Over here, we've got David Bowie next to um, The Seven Pillars of Wisdom by T.E. Lawrence. This one's a little bit odd. The only reason for this is that um, Peter O'Toole, of course, starred as T.E. Lawrence in Lawrence of Arabia. And I always thought that Peter O'Toole and David Bowie, they look very similar. So that works for me. Then we got Donna Tartt next to Carson McCullers. It's pretty easy to figure that one out. All right, we're coming down here. And uh, first off, I just want to tell you, I put Sylvia Plath. She's so depressed all the time. I put her next to David Sedaris. Thought maybe he could cheer her up somehow. All right, we come over here. We've got two of the bitchiest diaries you will ever read, the Cecil Beaton Diaries and the Andy Warhol Diaries. I mean, it is glorious, this bitchery. It's just wonderful. So that's a perfect, that's a perfect combination. And then I put um, Elizabeth Taylor's My Love Affair with Jewelry right next to Andy's book because I just know he would adore this just glamorous, glamorous book. And then, for my own benefit, these are my, um, my high school journals and diaries, and they are full of horrible, sad writing, awful, awful writing. So I just put them next to all this glamour, hoping it would rub off somehow. All right, we come down here. We've got some suburban angst. We've got James Purdy, John Cheever, uh, John Updike. That all works. Dorothy Parker next to Robert Benchley. Let them continue their roundtable conversation. Why not? And over here... I mean, you got to have the Marquis de Sade next to Venus and Furs, Leopold von sacher Masoch, and I'm sure you can figure out why. Okay. Well, we were back. Um, that's it. That's how I organize my books. It's just a little taste. So I would love to know how you organize yours. So hit me up, do a return serve, and I look forward to seeing it.